In the last chapter, we talked all about what happens when light enters the actual eye, that we have these different types of refractive media that make sure that we can focus the light on a specific point, right? And usually it wouldn't bend like that, like that usually be quite straight, but my drawing skills are problematic. Um, but we talked about these refractive media, such as the cornea, the aqueous humor, and the lens, and the vitreous humor, right? These are the ones you need to remember. And these are the ones who help us refract light onto the back of the eye, so onto the retina. So the last chapter was all about how light is actually focused onto the retina, these different mechanisms. And in this chapter, we're going to talk about the retina itself and how being, having this light activate the retina, how that gives us our vision, how we can see afterwards. Right? So first we talked about how light gets in there. Now we're going to talk about what light actually does once it gets in. Right? Because the dot point itself says identify photoreceptors, for, sorry, identify photoreceptor cells as containing light sensitive pigments and explain that these cells convert light images into electrical chemi electrochemical signals that the brain can interpret. Right? So uh, a couple of po points set, but this is a quite straightforward dot point. We're going to talk about the rods and cones, which are your photoreceptors. Remember, photoreceptors, photo means light, and receptors means detect. So these are the ones that detect light. Detect light. And we've got the cones for color vision, and we've got the rods for black and white vision. And these are these ones. So we can see here, these are our rods and cones. Rods are named so because they have a rod kind of shape just like a stick almost, and the cones are named because they have a bit of a cone sticking out. But we'll talk about more of that in the next couple of videos. All right, so let's get started. So yeah, light has traveled in, right? We, focus, we use a cornea, aqueous humor, lens, and vitreous humor to focus light on the retina. So what we're talking about now is what's happening on this red layer, the retina. That's what we're talking about now. All right, so we need to talk about light-sensitive pigments, and these would be rhodopsin, ro Dopsin and iodopsin. So we'll talk about those two in the iodopsin. We'll talk about more of those those two more in the future. Rhodopsin is for black and white, and iodopsin is for color vision. But these absorb light, right? So they absorb light, and these pigments are more or less just chemicals. So they're not they're not separate cells. They're just chemicals, and these chemicals can be found inside rods and cones. So what I mean by that is, if we look, this is a structure of in this case, this would be a rod. Why, why do we know it's a rod? The one on the right is because it has a stick-like structure. As you can see, these ones here are your rods and the ones which have a bit of a cone sticking out, these ones would be your cones. They have a cone shape at the end. As this is rod, where can we find these light sensitive pigments? We can find them here, which is the outer segment. So these are, they're going to be these chemicals. In this case, is this is a rod, so it's going to be your dopsin. These chemicals are going, to, are going to be in the outer segment of the photoreceptor. And for cones, their iodopsin will be in that part. So the same segment, but just the cone-shaped one. It's going to have these lots of these chemicals, layers of layers of these chemicals, these pigments. They're called light-sensitive pigments because they detect light, which will help us Send, uh, first pick up light, so what their job is, light sensor pigments inside rods and cones, it absorbs light energy, right? So it will be the first part which will actually detect the light. One, one interesting part as well, when light actually enters the eye, so the light is passing through, it's hitting the retina, what you might expect is you might expect the, the, the cones and rods to be the first layer. There's actually a lot of layers, a lot of different types of nerve cells. You might be expecting the rods and cones to be right at the, set, at the surface of those layers. But light will actually pass through. So light will pass through all of these different types of layers. And the bottom layer is going to be the rods and cones. The rods and cones are not the top layer. They're going to be the bottom layer. So light will pass through these different nerve cells and get all the way to the bottom, and then they're going to activate the rods and cones. Right? So that's light will pass through. This is all of this is the retina. All of this is the retina. Pass through the retina and go all the way to the bottom, which are the, where the cones and the rods are. Right? And then here, this part, the bottom part of the rod and cone, this is where these light sensitive pigments are, and they absorb the light energy. So once light energy has been absorbed. What the rods and cones do next 
is they change the light energy into an electrical impulse. So they change light energy into electrical energy. The reason why is because these are neurons, neurons are nerve cells, and they can't send light. They can only send electrical impulses. So after these light, these light sets of pigments in the rosin cones have changed the actual light into it, um, so they have detected the light. What happens next is the rods and cones will change that light into electrical impulses and then send it back out. So, so after it has changed light energy into electrical impulses, it will move the impulse towards the brain. So after the light has gone all the way down, what will happen next, and I'm going to use a different color. This color here that I'm using, this is electrical impulse. So now the neuron will send the electrical impulse this back up through these different types of, of nervous cells and it will be going towards the brain now. Right? So it's come down, it's hit the actual rods and cones, it's light sensitive pigments, rhodopsin or iodopsin has absorbed the light, then the rods and cones change the light into electrical energy, then send that signal up through these different neurons back toward the brain. So you can see now it'll go towards the optic nerve, all this will go to the optic nerve, and then once it goes to the optic nerve it will be going all the way to the brain itself. And this is where our image will be made, so at the brain. Where it's going to be looking at those electrical impulses and make an image out of that. So I'll go through this again. Identify photoreceptor cells as these containing light sensitive pigments. Remember, photoreceptor photo means light, receptor means detect. So the ones that detect light are the rods and cones. And these rods and cones have the pigments in, in them, rhodopsin and iodopsin, which is in that outer segment. Now, once these pigments have detected light, the rods and cones change light into electrical energy, and that electrical impulse will be sent through all these different types of neurons and head towards our brain, and at the brain itself, we're going to have our image being formed. That's the other part. Explain that these cells convert light images into electrical chemical signals that the brain can interpret. That was the other part. I hope that was useful.